Howdy, my name is Justin Sines, your Fortune Urban Youth Agent here in Montgomery County. We're coming to you live on tape from our Thomas Leroy Educational Center. In partnership with the Montgomery County Memorial Library System, we bring you another episode of 4-H Aggregation, your summer vacation ag education. On this episode, we're going to 4-H Summer Camp, and we're going to learn how 4-H encourages kids to take an interest in STEM fields. Later on, we're going to see how a forage project relates to the agricultural industry. So, without further ado, let's get started. Howdy guys, it's Emma Smith, your third vice chairman this year on District Council. We're out here in Huntsville at Carolina Creek at the Junior District Leader Lab this year. The theme this year is 4-H is out of this world. The kids show, show up here Friday night and we leave Saturday and then today they got to participate in a lot of educational sessions that really expanded their leadership opportunities but also related back to the theme. They got to learn a little bit about the different 4-H competition areas. They had moon phases with cookies. They did dry ice bubbles. Um, what would you take to Mars? They made constellations out of marshmallows and toothpicks. It's really educational, and I think it's really great for all the, the youth. Howdy, I'm Emmy Dahlmeyer. I'm the Public Relations Chairman, and I'm from Lee County. I'm Alexis Ostegan. I'm the Health and Safety Officer, and I'm from Grimes County. And today, we're going to be making dry ice bubbles. Just a precaution, um, dry ice is very extremely cold. Um, it could, um, it is very similar to a frostbite if it does burn you. Um, so we're gonna, we are gonna be messing with the dry ice, but y'all will get to do y'all's own little part. We have safety goggles if you would like to wear them. So we're gonna start with some water in our container. Thought it's gonna be interesting, I'm trying to. Then we're going to take a piece of our dry ice. Uh oh. So now what we do, if Alexis, you want to rim the glass. So this is the, this is the dish soap. So you'll take, that is a mixture of dish soap, dish soap, and water. So we can take a rag and dip it in. And dip it in. And then you're gonna keep it really tight. You want to keep it super straight. And there. You have your dry ice bubble. Alright, and so since we only have three of you guys here, we y'all can each do your own. Yeah. So, let me grab another mason jar. The way I like to think of it, how this relates with 4-H. Okay. <laughs> you gather all your information up throughout your 4-H years, and eventually, once you graduate and go out to the real world, the bubble will pop, and you can spread all the information you learned with the outside world and in your real world life. At my station here at Junior Lab, we are making uh, color robots. And so what they do is, there's a piece of paper right here. Um, I was gonna have Wendell hand it to me, but never mind. Um, there's, a pe there's a piece of paper here that we are allowing kids to draw on with their robots. So essentially what you do 
is you attach these four markers to the side of your robot and then you can connect the engine to the battery pack by these two wires and you put duct tape on it. And then when you turn it on, you put a popsicle stick on the front of the motor. And then when you turn it on, it starts to go. And as it goes, it will move the cup and it will scribble on its own. Does that make sense? So we're teaching kids about basic electricity by completing a circuit and how that kind of works. Um, and we're also teaching them uh, to be very safe when working with motors. 4-H Summer Camp is one of my favorite activities that we do during the summertime. And building those CAN robots was a blast. Let's check in with Seth Kendrick and see how his robotic project relates to production agriculture. Hi, my name is Seth Kendrick and I'm from Montgomery County. And today I'm going to explain to you how my 4-H robotics project relates to precision agriculture. Now let me explain to you what precision agriculture is. Precision agriculture is a crop production management system that uses global positioning services to monitor equipment field location and collect information. Precision agriculture combines sensors, robots, GPS, mapping tools, and data analysis software to customize the care that plants receive without increasing labor. Some of the notable developments that have stemmed from precision agriculture are variable rate technology, automatic section control, and optical crop sensors. The variable rate fertilizer application allows crop producers to apply different rates of fertilizer at each location across fields. The technology required to accomplish variable rate fertilization requires an in-cab computer, a software with a field zone application map, fertilizing equipment capable of changing rates during operation as well as a GPS system. Automatic section control technology turns planters or rows off at places that have already previously been planted or on and off at waterways and head turns. The optical crop sensor can be used to evaluate crop conditions during the growing season by directing light waves at crop leaves and then measuring the type and amount of light reflected back at the sensor. Now let me show you how my robotics project relates to precision agriculture. During our robotics contest, we build and program small robots to complete tasks related to the agriculture industry using various sensors and motors. Machines like the Case IH Autonomous Concept Vehicle are built using a precision agriculture approach to farming. This vehicle using precision agriculture concepts can manage fields completely on its own, which will increase productivity. And that's how precision agriculture relates to my robotics project. I hope you enjoyed learning about how 4-H relates to science and how it can lead to agricultural employment. Did you know that agriculture in Texas employs one out of seven working adults? If you'd like to learn more about some of the careers that are in within agriculture, you can visit MontgomeryCountyForage.org and play a fun game that's going to explore the different careers. While you're there, if you're interested in receiving more information via email, you can fill out our interest survey or you can give us a call at the office at 936-539-7823. And as always, we thank you for joining us on this episode of 4-H Aggregation, your summer vacation ag education. And until next time, we'll see you later.